morning DFO open the fishery at 6.30 a.m. Um, it's been a free-for-all here in the last few hours with saners trying to catch their quota as fast as possible. Here I'm standing with the local representatives and the government's decided to override their positions and their, their request to the government to have a moratorium or suspension of the herring fishery. I'm obviously concerned with the status of herring because it's uh, directly related to the health of uh, Chinook salmon and indirectly uh, southern resident killer whales. Everyone's concerned about that. DFOs trying to it's supporting the industry, not not the, the environment, and that's a really bad thing. When you look at the numbers, the progressive uh, decline and the risk taken, it's nothing short of criminal. They don't realize that they're, they're killing the future of the herring in this area also, but like they've done in many other areas, including ours. This really needs to stop. There needs to be a moratorium put into place. We are operating at the edge of, uh, of uh, sustainability and a collapse is, will happen. The advice to DFO would be don't fish it for a few years so that it will bounce back and then you could have bigger catch and everybody would be happy. And to see that that's being taken uh, by commercial interests that doesn't necessarily benefit the general population, uh, it's a little bit disheartening. It's very palpable and obvious that the people who live here in the First Nations do not want commercial fishing of herring. And, um, and so they have this controversy between commercial industrial fishing and what the local people want. And, uh, and I think it's the sign of the times that people are paying attention to their own backyard and want to take care of the place where they live. Today there's a fantastic flotilla of a lot of people in kayaks and sailboats, fish boats. It makes us full of hope because more and more people are getting on board with trying to put an end to this fishery. We're all out here doing a peaceful demonstration, trying to save the herring. There is thousands upon thousands of people that want the commercial herring fishery to shut down. From Comox all the way south, I'm pretty sure every chief in all zones want the commercial herring fishery to shut down. Herring are a keystone species in the Strait of Georgia and that we need to protect them and that's what these people are asking. They're asking the Department of Fisheries and Ocean, they're asking the minister to protect this fish and let the herring live. Let herring live! As I've said many times, we are not owners of the land or the sea, we're stewards of it.